Thanks, Ty. Yeah, June is dairy month. We talk about this every year, and I'll do these interviews with Maggie Cimaroli here from the St. Louis Dairy Council, and she'll bring in all the foods. But this year, Maggie, we got a superstar. We do. Louise is here. <laughs> there she is over there. She's eating breakfast right now. A little bit later in our 9 o'clock, Tim's going to try to milk her. So we'll, we'll see what happens with that. But in the meantime, let's talk about dairy foods and, and how they benefit the diet. Yes. So like you said, it's it's June Dairy Month. And so we have all kinds of dairy foods here. Um, kind of our theme this year is dairy on the go. And dairy provides those 13 essential nutrients. So those are nutrients you have to get from food. Um, so it can be as simple as possible. Um, you know, three servings of dairy is what you should be striving for. So these are all kind of some grab and go options. You can just pick those up at the store, um, you know, cottage cheese, yogurt. We even have shelf stable milk. Um, so again, if you're traveling, great option. Um, and then we also have some dairy kebabs here. And so you can make those for maybe for lunch on the, on the road. Um, or again, if you're if your kids have summer school or you're packing lunches for people. So we kind of have a deli sandwich one and we have a fruit one. And again, put whatever you like on there. Um, but these dairy foods, they provide calcium to keep your bones strong. They provide protein to get, um, you know, keep your muscles building, keep you full. So all kinds of great things from dairy. And you're striving for those three servings every single day. Got to get it. And we've got Hannah Albert here. And yes. Hannah, you're in charge of the school, correct? Yes. Yeah, it sounds like uh, Louise got a little hairball there or something. Yes, she has a tendency to eat her food way too fast and drink her water way too quick, <laughs> so then she gets a little choked up every once in a while, but she always gets through it. This is a Jersey cow. This is a Jersey cow, yes. So Jersey cows are known for having the most cream in their milk, which which makes all those yummy products like butter and ice cream and Ooh, things like that. Nice. Well, a little bit later on, we've got a milking machine there, but that's too nice for Timmy Zell. He's going to be out here during the 9 a.m. And is she ready for his cold hands? I don't know if she's ready for cold hands. She likes it warm. <laughs> well, we'll warm up his hands then. Okay. Up, Hannah, thanks so much. Sounds good. Let's uh, try some of this. Is that yeah, okay? Yeah, of course. I used to have a mustache years ago, yeah. and uh, there's old photos Mama's. around, so I'm going to see if I can get that back. Your milk mustache. Ready? Mm. Oh, it feels good to have a mustache <laughs> again. <laughs> Yours yeah. looks pretty yeah. good. You got a little, a little, little thing going there. <laughs> what about you, Hannah? I don't know. Did I know you? Give it a try. No, you got nothing, girl. A little bit. <laughs> She's working at it. Anyway, thanks so much for coming in. And you're going to be traveling around to state fairs and county fairs this summer. Yes. Yeah, so we will be kind of all over. This is the Mobile Dairy Classroom, and we partner with Southwest Dairy Museum, and Hannah is the instructor. So yes. she will be traveling to all kinds of fairs, hopefully in your area. Um, check out our website, stldairycouncil.org, or our Facebook and Instagram which is at STL Dairy Council, and you can see kind of where the mobile dairy classroom will be. You'll get to see Louise, get to meet Louise. and kind of Big star. what what Hannah is doing over the summer. All right. Well, we've milked this as far as we can right now. We've got more coming up in the 9 a.m. We're going to take a little break right now. We'll have more Fox 2 News in the morning at 8 right after this. This is excellent. Is this a shake? <laughs>